back. <laughs> my, the, the pink pumps Blue was wearing weren't going to be in my repertoire. All right. Would you like me to say that again? <laughs> no, that's been, yeah. No, um, I just tried to talk to my team in the locker room, and I looked out at them, and they're just such beautiful people, and they just are so invested, and they've given so much. They're, they're very humble. They're very appreciative of what the university's given them, but um, I looked out at them to try to tell them I was proud of them, and I really couldn't get through it because this is just a special group. And... Um, it's such a long season in women's basketball. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that we come together on the first day of school and we really start working out. And you don't have an opportunity to really pause and reflect and get a little bit deeper. And, you know, you get mad about talking, you know, for hours about box outs and, you know, execution of plays and the timing of screens and stuff. And then the last couple of days we got a chance to talk about things that really matter. And um, we did talk about them and we shared. And um, we're really proud of this university for putting on an event like the Celebration of Women's Athletics. Uh, we're really, all of us have been touched by some type of women's cancer. And so to have it the pink night. And um, so we did. We talked about all that stuff and just had a really nice couple of days together just to really say that we love each other and that we're very proud to be on this stage. And that we knew there were people in the audience that wanted to see a fight and wanted to have some joy. And we hope we provided that. So I was really, really happy. And uh, I thought, you know, just to see the smiles and the, the fun. And when Mesa hit it, and one and Motley jumped on her. I mean, that's us. We're so emotional. And just to have a day where there's just emotional and, and real positive. Um, and I think we gave a gift to the people that have been supporting us so much. And then in just terms of X's and O's, to have everybody get a chance to play today. Yeah. Well, you know, you had Clemson coming in here, and they won three of their last four, and they're they're beating solid teams and playing very well, and they never quit. So we couldn't even relax, you know, at halftime or whatever. So I thought the third quarter by these two was just pretty much perfect. Like we wanted to have some fun tonight, and had we not take, taken care of business in a in the third with our defensive effort, then we couldn't have had fun. Then maybe everyone couldn't have played, and and they get it. And it wasn't like we had to tell them that. They just they probably had a little conversation about, hey, let's put this game away so everyone can get a chance. We can, you know, I'm sure they did. And that's just kind of um, our team. We, we, we like to be, um, if you ever get a chance in life to be an inspiration to anyone, you know, it's such an honor. And so I felt like, I mean, they inspired me today, these two. They were just, it's beautiful. It was just great. Well, I know that the, to ask you, and you know what's coming. You've, you've been pushing for that number. All season to have it happen, to have it happen here at home today. Mm -hmm. How much more special did that make that moment for you? And and what did you tell me when you realized it? I actually, when I realized, like Coach had said, I shot the three and then I, it was like a defensive transition. Then we came back and then Coach said you beat her, and I was like, dang, I did, I did just beat her. So I actually said it when it was in the air. It really. When you were letting it go, I said you got blue. <laughs> and so when I ran back down, I like slapped Blue's hand, but um. I mean, it's just a blessing. I, like, obviously, you've been hearing about this for forever <laughs> since the beginning of the season. So just to finally get it, um, it's just a blessing. But I'm just glad we came out and everybody, like you said, everybody played. And it was just fun to be out there and just give the crowd, um, you know, a show. And, and just it was bigger than us today. And we played like it. And we just had so much fun. And um, it was just fun. It was fun today. JT, what was today like for you? Obviously, the 1,200. But, again, everybody plays. You had a great crowd. It was the breast cancer game celebration of women. Athletics, you know, what, what did today mean to you? Um, I think the biggest word is just inspire. Um, we get to play for something so much bigger than ourselves. Um, KI Foundation. Um, just, I mean, it, it's people who, who deal with this in their families, you know, and, and to come out today and be able to uh, make a statement, not only just for ourselves, but for the university and for the foundation itself. It, it's just nothing but fun. Um, and I think as a team, we played really well and showed just great character of what it meant to play with this pink on. Katie, you talked on Thursday about taking a lot, you know, lessons from mm -hmm. the win. Mm -hmm. um, so much sharper today with, you know. Yeah. Free throws. Yeah, free throws, <laughs> yeah. the turnovers, yeah. to assist ratio was better. You know, was, was there some talk of all that stuff after Thursday? Well, kind of, yeah, I, I, there was. I mean, we, we're, we're going to fix things. We had uh, two shots at film of watching that game, so we actually watched the last uh, – four minutes and we, I don't, we don't watch all of our mistakes a lot but it was a couple of days before the game we had a chance to really sit and talk through it and um, it wasn't like anybody was 
surprised or hiding from it. I mean, we were like, yeah. I mean, we checked out. We were up 15 with two minutes to go, and we mentally checked out. So uh, today was all about keeping focus and making sure. And, you know, people playing and getting their opportunities to play. We, we tried different lineups. You know, I said, okay, let's pretend Jessica and Adrian are – you know, in foul trouble when we're in NCAA game. So we're going to sit them down. We got Laura in there with Kiki and Gia. I mean, we were pretending things. We were trying to get scenarios ready because we had a little bit of a cushion. And um, those are important moments, but that kept everybody really focused. And then obviously um, a week off, what's kind of the plan now? I know they'll be in the gym and there'll be stuff to do, but... Well, that, you know what? I'm going to I'm not going to make them be in the gym as much. They were a little <laughs> bit shocked when they heard the schedule. I don't want to publicly say what the schedule is, but they were a little bit shocked, but it's a, it's a time where, you know what? You go find your joy and you go find your because we you know, we played on December 29th and that wasn't great. And it happened to be Florida State that really wasn't great and we didn't play well and and we regret that. But that decision to play on the 29th gives us this bye late in the season when we need it. And we need to recharge and we need to re-energize. And uh, we're going to have two road games coming up. So, you know, as, as the world turns, take advantage of it and be smart about it. But find your joy, find your, you know, find your own battery and find your own plug that you're going to recharge yourselves with. And, and we'll get together. And um, when we do get together, I'm going to put a ton of pressure on you. But it, you deserve to have a couple days this week where there's no pressure on you because we've been playing with a ton of pressure. What about um, the fact that it's Duke next? Mm -hmm. I know, is, is that Whatever. <laughs> no, I mean that. I mean that. It's that just means they're they're a very good team. There's no personal story there whatsoever. They're a very good team. They're playing really well. They're they have really gotten a really a lot out of their point guard transfer, um, Lexi and uh, Rebecca Greenwell's playing out of her mind. So they're good and they're beating people. So um, we have an opportunity. It's it's an ACC road win and those count not just double in our program but triple and that's what we're going for. It'll really help us out. Week, but you know, the challenge they pose, and like Coach said, you know, we've got kind of in crunch time here. A road win in the ACC against Ryan team. I think it'll mean a lot. Um, uh, I've talked to you before about um, just how we, you know, we're, we got to get a statement win, <clears throat> and I, I think this is the perfect time to prove it, perfect time to do it. And um, we just got th this week isn't just about you know, relaxing or something like that, like she said, find your joy. But um, staying crisp and staying focused is the biggest thing for this weekend. Next from your perspective. Um, JT hit it on the head. Um, we just have a great opportunity coming up. Um, not looking ahead to, you know, the end of the season or ACC tournament time. We just take it a game at a time. And regular season is, 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 is coming to a close. So we definitely um, we need to get a signature win. And Cameron would be a fine place to do it at. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>